My name is Aviel Zur, and I'm an innovation and Israel market agronomist in Haifa Group. Thank you for joining, for joining me in this webinar. And today we're gonna talk about creating a basic program in our Haifa NutriNet software. So before we create our basic program, I'm gonna give a short brief about the, uh, the NutriNet software. One of our most uh, important approaches in Haifa is knowledge sharing. And part of this holistic approach is to satisfy both grower and crop, to find the plants precisely, and to find solution that for actual needs. And the NutriNet as a tool is a very important in this uh, approach of, of uh, Haifa. Let's go through uh, some main features of the software. So first of all, the software is very flexible. The program can be edited to reflect your own preferences. The software is rich and updated with localized database of crop requir requirements and fertilizers that are specific for your country and location. And it's responsive to differences in soil, water, and tissue uh, composition. All of this together, together gives you a tailor-made fertilization program just for you. Together with that, it's a cloud uh, online-based system with program management capabilities. You can connect and use it wherever you're located on the globe. And it's 100% free of charge. So a way to get to the NutriNet software, one way is through our uh, Haifa Group website. You can go into our website and go to the software and apps and press NutriNet. Then click to start using Haifa NutriNet now. And you will enter the NutriNet software. If you don't have an account, you need to first of all create an account. And then when you enter your account, you see this uh, account page with all your fertilization program that you created. So first of all, before we start and create our program, we need to establish and create our uh, plot we're going to uh, create for the fertilization program. After we create our plot, we will also need to create our nutrigation system we are going to use. So let's go and create our plot. So we go and press my plots. Enter the create plot page, we will want to create a new plot. We go and press create a new plot. For our example, let's give this plot a name. The name will be a Mexico tomato plot. The size of our plot will be 10 hectare. You can choose whatever unit you want to use. For now, let's use the hectare unit. And if you uh, grow on soil, you will choose your soil type. If soilless, you can choose soilless. For now, let's use soil clay loam. Let's enter our location. So let's put Mexico. And after we filled all the perimeters we need, we can press save. And here you can see up above on the list, we created our new plot, Mexico tomato plot. After we created a plot, now let's go and create our nutrigation system. We press on the nutrigation system and add a new nutrigation system. For our example, let's create two tanks in our nutrigation system. One tank is a phosphorus tank, tank A, and tank B will be the calcium tank. The volume unit will be a thousand liters. And you have the choice to choose between fixed nutrigation and adjustable. For our example, we'll choose adjustable with a dissolution rate of 20% of our fertilizers. Let's give this nutrigation system a name. So we'll call it Mexico Nut. Irrigation. Okay, and let's press assign and save. 
after we created our plot and our notification system, now we can go, can go forward and create our program. So we can press up above my programs back to the main page. And let's start creating our program, create new program. After you press create new program, a 10 steps questionnaire will open. And after answering those 10 questions, you will get your tailor-made fertilization program just for you. So at the beginning, you need to choose which units you wanna work with. <clears throat> for our example, we'll use metric units with hectare. And the first step is to give our program a name. We'll call it a example program program Mexico tomato. Let's give this one a capital and the tomato also a capital letter. Okay, after we gave the name of the program, we continue to the next step. The second step is to choose the program starting date. For our example, we'll choose today and continue to the third step. Third step is to enter a plot. After we created a plot, we just need to choose it from the list down below. Let's go and look for it. Here we go, Mexico tomato plot that we've created. After we choose the plot we created, we can continue on to the fourth step that we choose a crop. We want to choose now a fertilization recommendation for tomato. Let's see what programs we have for the Mexico area. So we can see here all kinds of uh, fertilization program for tomato. For this example, we'll choose tomato open field in Mexico, a quantitative program. Continue on to the fifth stage where we choose our nutrigation system. Let's choose the system we created, Mexico nutrigation, and continue on to the sixth stage. Here we choose the expected yield of, of, our, of the tomato uh, crop. If you increase or decrease the expected yield, your program will be update, updated accordingly. Okay, let's keep it in the average expected yield. Continue on to the seventh stage. Here you choose your fertilization method. In this crop, we have only nutrigation, but in other crops, we have also the possibility of choosing base dressing. Let's continue to the next step, the eighth stage. And here you choose which fertilizers you wanna use or straight fertilizers that are the basic fertilizers or polyfeed that are full NPK fertilizers that are created for specific crops and for specific stages in the different crops. For our example, let's choose polyfeed. Then we go on to the ninth stage. This stage is not mandatory, but in order to know how to blend your fertilizers in the nutrigation system, you need to fill these perimeters in. For this example, basic uh, for this basic uh, program, we'll continue on and skip this stage. The 10th stage and the last one is to choose the water source, your water analysis. You can create your uh, own water analysis report and by adding it, you will get a, a more accurate and a right um, a fertilization program that will decrease the elements you have in your water analysis from the fertilizers you need to add. For now, let's skip this stage. And that's it, we finished all the 10 uh, stages. And now let's submit and create our fertilization program. And what you can see here is the, our fertilization program for tomato open field in Mexico, a quantitative program. And in this table, you can see the crop requirements that are recommended by HIFA for this uh, tomato open field in Mexico. On the left side, you can see 
the different stages of this crop. You can see the establishment stage, the vegetative growth stage, the fruit set harvest, and the harvest till the final. Then you can see the duration of each stage and the different requirements for the different elements doing the stage. You can see these elements in oxide, but also in elemental. Down below, you can see the total uh, requirement for each element doing the whole growth cycle. Okay. And here up above, you can see the different four stages of this uh, crop. The next table is the fertilization recommendation. This table is the recommendation of fertilizers for each uh, stage in order to get a fulfillment of your uh, elements requirement for each stage. So up above, you can see the requirement you want for the stage, the requirement per day. If you would add water input, so we'd have also your water input. Here you can see the fertilizers input that you get from the list of fertilizers down below and the percentage of fulfillment that the fertilizers give you out of the total uh, required, um, required uh, elements for this crop. Down below, you can see what the software recommends in order to get the best fulfillment for this stage requirements. And you can see he, choose, he chose uh, several, of, um, several of fertilizers, but sometimes those fertilizers you don't have uh, uh, at your uh, nearest distributor, or sometimes you don't need to use all these fertilizers. So in a situation like that, you can always edit your fertilizers. For the example, let's edit the fertilizer for this stage. Press edit fertilizers. Fertilizers, a page with editing the fertilizers will open and you can see the list of fertilizers that are recommended right now. For our example, let's choose um, use one polyfeed, a full NPK fertilizers that 12, 43, 12 with the microelements as our NPK source. We'll use the magnesium nitrate as a magnesium source and the calcium nitrate as a calcium source. Right now, let's take off the ammonium sulfate and the MAP. Let's take off also the micro combi because we have micro elements in our polyfeed. And then we're left with one polyfeed and the Haifa cal calcium nitrate and the Haifa mag the magnesium nitrate. If we press on current nutrient fulfillment, we can see that these three fertilizers give us almost 100% fulfillment for the whole elements in this establishment uh, growth stage. So after we did this and we edit edited our uh, fertilizers, let's go back to our program page. Back to our program page. Let's go to fertilization recommendations. Up above, you see we are on the establishment stage. And down below, you can see the fertilizers we chose. After we chose the fertilizers, now let's go and see how much of every fertilizers we need to apply. So in the establishment state, uh, uh, stage, we need every day to apply 4.167 kilogram per hectare per day from this polyfeed, two kilogram per hectare per day from the Haifa cal, and 240 gram per hectare per day from the Haifa mag, in order to get a 100% fulfillment of the crop requirements on this establishment stage. In every stage, you can edit the fertilizers according to those you want to use. But for our example, we'll stay with only the establishment stage. So I think this is for now uh, for the creating a basic uh, fertilization program. So we've, we've seen how you answer the 10 uh, steps 
editing your fertilizers according to your growth stage and according to the fertilizers you have uh, in your nearest distributor. Another feature that I want to show you today is the option of exporting a PDF that you can then print or send. So here you can see the export. You can press on the export button and then you will see the program creates for you a PDF with your um, fertilization program with your crop nutrients requirement for each stage. You can see the amount of fertilizers you need for the whole crop cycle from each fertilizer you use. And you can see for each stage, what are the amount of fertilizers you need to apply per kilogram per hectare per day. Another option is to share with your friend or colleague. This, this, uh, this uh, fertilization program you see here in the Nutrinet, you can press share public link. This will copy a link that you can share with your colleague. You can set it by email or just open in your computer. You open this link and you share the fertilization program you create. You see up above this program was created by Aviel. The program is read only and cannot be modified. So your uh, colleague or farmer or consultant can see the program you created but he can't do any modification. So these are good tools to use after you created the program and you want to share the program. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for enjoying me, joining me and waiting to see you in our uh, next webinars. Goodbye.